Welcome to Monday. Um, kind of an interesting way to, to start the day. Uh, we woke up and the Port Authority bus terminal um, was, it was an attempt, it's, it was an explosion, but it was an attempted explosion. There was a guy that had a pipe bomb strapped to his chest and they're still doing the investigation. They don't know if it went off accidentally or if he set it off, but there was an explosion at the Port Authority bus terminal. That is an eerie feeling because we were there yesterday. We were there last night and there was a good possibility we were going back this morning. And it happened this morning, probably um, not too long before we would have been there. So that's kind of a weird way to start the day. Um, it's obviously been all over the news. Um, and it goes without saying, we're probably not gonna be taking the bus today. Uh, the good news is that the only person that was seriously injured in this mess was the guy who had the bomb himself. There's like three other minor injuries and the way they described them was like ringing in the ears and headaches. So it sounds like this guy was trying to do something bigger and either did not understand how big the explosion was or something went wrong. So that's good or as, as good as a situation like this can be. Um, fortunately, we were not there, but we were there last night. So, who's ready to start today? Yeah, yeah, okay. Can we just stay here? <laughs> we'll be fine. Um, so, we're gonna go over to Target. Uh, we talked about yesterday, Lindsay's gotta get another bag, and then we'll figure out how exactly we're getting into the city. So Lindsay found a suitcase. We found hand warmers. Hand warmers. This is something that I thought up the other day. Hand warmers. I was like, they should invent something that keeps your hands warm. Like a hand warmer. And Matt was like, that's a real product that exists. That's a real warmers. product that exists. And then I was like, what? So now we're getting them. Although I gotta admit, probably should have got them sooner in the week. So we made it into the city and came to Cat's Delicatessen, which has been around since 1888. It's been a while. And uh, they're known for their pastrami. So that is exactly what we got. And uh, it is, I mean, <laughs> as advertised, the best pastrami that I've ever had. And this is actually, we ordered one sandwich and split it because the sandwiches are just so huge. So me and Mal are actually splitting one. You, you guys also got pastrami then. We also split one. Yeah, I think it was kind of the way to go because the sandwiches are just like absolutely gigantic. But the, uh, the environment in here is, is just so hectic. Like you come up to the counter and there's just so, so many people in here. But the food's good. And we didn't have to wait to get in, like uh, like it was yesterday, two days ago. Two days ago is whenever we were here. It was wrapped around the building that day. One of the last things that we wanted to do was uh, hit up a a bakery so Mal could continue to, I guess, scratch off all of her Seinfeld itches. We by... need to look to the cookie. So we, we got black and white cookies and also a... Uh, a babka for the morning because we're not going to have time to eat um, breakfast at the hotel. So we just stopped at this little place here and got some. It's all in the bag though. <laughs> I'll, just show, I'll just show it off later. At this point we have... Um, wrapped wrapped. It was so beautiful. Yeah, so. It's like in a little box and then she had the string. That she, I mean, it was masterful. Mm -hmm. Yes. She's extremely skilled at wrapping. <laughs> At this point, I don't really know what we're going to do. We've basically checked off every single thing we want to do. Dan, is there anything you want to do? That looks pretty good, Mal. It's, look how big it is. Yeah, it's Cakey. thick. It's very thick. We should walk. <laughs> so during the winter months, or maybe just December, I don't know, they have these little holiday markets that pop up, and we've seen several already in the time we've been here. This is another one at Union Square. We actually kind of lost Dan and Lindsay. I don't know exactly where they are. The, the market actually extends quite a bit over there. There's like 150 shops in this one in particular, but uh, we lost them. So we're just kind of sitting, chilling, waiting for them to to find us. Um, we're actually sitting up on this this ridge. And I don't know, if we sit here long enough, we might make another little 
squirrel friend because they seem to be so friendly in the city. My hair looks okay. Does it look? I think it looks perfect, right? It's perfect. It's great. It's perfect. You can tell I wore a hat. We were only in the city until about four something. About four something, and then we took a we took a bus. The Port Authority opened back up, which is wild. Like I mean, they were open by like ten a.m. Yeah, it was. Well, they were they were closed they still before. Closed though, because I had looked at their Twitter. Yeah, they were closed before we got. We went into the city, but they were open by the time we were leaving the city, so we're actually able to get on the city. I, it's just incredible to me because New York. They actually had a speech on the TV where the the guys came out and they're like, "You can't stop us. We're New York." And then they opened everything back up. And, and, and people and, were and just they're like, like, "Let's get back annoying. to work, everybody." Yeah. Yeah, it was mostly an, an annoyance. So we did. It didn't even feel like it was the city, same city. Like, yeah, it just things went on like normal. Um, so we we left the city, we came back, and uh, we were actually going to eat at that that Cuban place we ate the first day, and that was closed. So we got a recommendation from the first Gabriel at the front desk. <laughs> and the front desk guy said we should go to Noches de. Colombia. Col Colombia. 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 Restaurante. Colombia. Yes. And that's where we went, and it was good. It was really good. I forget the order in which I filmed things. I think, Dan, Dan, you had like a chicken. Yeah, fried chicken. Fried with chicken. Rice and, uh, uh, stuff. Yeah. And plantains. Plantains. The plantains were so plantains good. Plantains, arroz, and. You're doing good at the Spanish. Lindsay had, um, I don't remember what you had exactly. Camarones. It was like a. a you white, had shrimp. It was like a creamy <laughs> wine sauce on chicken. You breast had shrimp. Shrimp. I just remembered there was shrimp. Camarones. Mao, you had. I had beef stew of some sort, and there was like. There was eggs sauce. on it. And, and there was like a I slam remember. Beef. Our, yeah. yeah. Like and then. Hammered slam. It was beef. really good. I can't remember the name of mine. I think it was frijolada, and it was like a. The thing. lady was. Very impressed that you ordered that. When I ordered it, the server was like, oh, that's so good. And I was like, well, good. And the problem was, everything was delicious, but it was so much food. Could not eat all that food. And she was so surprised that we were not taking it to go. Yeah, she was disappointed. Because we, we can't keep it, because we're leaving in the morning. And so she was like, no one wants anything to go. And I was like, we can't. Lindsay saved the day, because I could explain that we were flying out in the morning. Yes. Was like, oh. It was very much a... Um, a, a Spanish-speaking restaurant. It was very hard uh, for some of the servers to understand the English we were using, and Lindsay speaks Spanish, so it, it made it a lot easier to <laughs> to communicate. It's not that late. It's only eight o'clock, but we're gonna have to go to bed pretty early because we have to wake up early. We're gonna be back in Myrtle Beach before noon. We'll be getting brunch at ten. When, yeah, like we're at, gonna land at like ten. Yeah, so... We thought that we were leaving at 10, but we're not, so... Well, it's alright. It's well, gonna yeah, be fine. More, more, day, more day to day. We yeah. found out before <laughs> we got to the airport. Yeah, 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 we're just good. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow, back to Myrtle Beach and uh, getting stuff But if you ever done. find yourself in North Bergen, New Jersey, Noche de Colombia is... So good. North Bergen, just in general, has actually been okay. Um, yeah. There's some there's some pretty good food around here. Uh, the the hotel rate, I mean, we have the Marriott discount because my mom works for Marriott, but still, even so, it should be more reasonable than New York. And there was like New a York. super nice truck driver who told Dan that he dropped his scarf. Yeah. That's right. Dan in dropped his scarf. Yeah, yeah, in the middle of the road, in like in the middle of the uh, crosswalk. Yeah, the crosswalk. And the guy honked uh, at you. And, and, and it must have been 30 at him. <laughs> it wasn't just like one honk, oh, he didn't look at me. It was like, doo -doo. Hug, hug, hug. And yeah. like we, we thought it was because he had to pull in and he didn't want to run us over, but like he was like, your scarf is over there. Yeah. That was, it was also really weird because we we're like, why is this guy honking at us? And then it was like, oh, he's being super sweet. And Dan dropped his thing. Um, 
Yeah, North Bergen's been all right. It's been a pretty. It's been it's been a I, you know I, whenever we got here I was like oh I wonder how long it's going to take to get into the city and certainly longer than if we would have just stayed downtown but the cost difference I think made it worth it and it was cool to experience the culture of North Bergen which was a little different than being in New York City itself so it's been nice anyway that's it tomorrow we travel should be a short trip but uh, let's meet back tomorrow shall we.